Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. In this tutorial, so I'm going to show you how to show elements, widget, and sections on particular days with a dynamic visibility for Jet Engine plugin and using Elementor page builder. So here is today's requirements. So we need to have Jet Engine plugin and you need to have dynamic visibility enabled. And Elementor Page Builder is a free version, so you, didn't, you, don't, you don't need to have Pro version. And then code snippets, so it's also free uh, third-party plugin. And a PHP code, so, so you need to just copy and paste, so that's easy. So let's get started. All right, so the first of all, uh, let's go back to Dashboard and then go to Jet Engine. And so make sure this dynamic visibility for widget and section module is enabled, all right? And another thing is you need to install this PHP code, the format date string macro PHP. And so I use a uh, code snippet. Uh, this is a free third party plugin. So I already installed and activated, okay? So, and then here you go. So I just click here. And then it's here, so I'm gonna just show you. And I just copy this uh, code and then paste onto uh, the section. All right, so uh, I just put the name here and then hit the save and then activate it, uh, this PHP. So now uh, it's here, all right. All right, so let's go to uh, this page and then select this section and go to advanced and here it is dynamic visibility so you need to enable this now so the show element if condition met and then condition should be equal all right and the field so you click this dynamic tag and then let's look for this macros right and then because we just installed the php code so here we go uh, format data string. So pick this and then so this format. Uh, so you can change this format. So I also um, show you quickly this. Now you can uh, use any format character, okay, and any value. So in my case, so uh, I'm kind of used to use months, uh, date, and year. So I'm kind of like this format. Okay, so with uh, separate with hyphen, but you can use any format you like. And then date strings, I'm gonna use today and the show by server time, okay? And then so now, so we need to add value. So value is gonna be, so February 27th, 2023. So it's gonna be February, so 02 and 27 and 2023. So that's today, so. Right, so that's 27th February. And then context is uh, default and the data type is character is okay. And let's go hit update. And then, so let's uh, take a quick look. So now it's showing here. Now, so let's go back to this page here and then just uh, select this section, dynamic. So if I put change this to, let's say 26, which is yesterday and hit update. And then, so refresh this page. So it's gone here, all right. So now, so I'm going to, yeah. So let's uh, duplicate this here just for a minute. And then now I'm gonna say only available um, um, in February, okay. So this is gonna be like whole month. Okay, so something like that. So only I want to show entire month of February. So if that's the case, I'm selecting this, go to advance, and then dynamic visibility, uh, equal macro, and then so format date string. So I'm gonna just use month, so which is M, okay? And so I'm gonna just February, so which means just zero two. Right, and I hit update. Okay, so let's uh, hit the refresh here. 
here we go yeah so let's go back so let's just uh, make sure so if i put the three so which is march so it's gonna be hidden so let's go back to this page and refresh and it's gone okay now you know how to show and hide widget and sections on particular days so that's it for today don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful and please subscribe to my channel for more useful information like this one thank you for watching and I'll see you next time